Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm excited to be finally opening Operation Dauntless, the battles for Fontenay and Rare France from June 1944. It's a, from GMT Games, uh, designed by Mark, and if I mispronounce his name, Mark Mugziski, and I'm sure I butchered that completely, but um, this has been one I've been looking forward to a long time. It's a sequel of sorts using the Red Winter system. Uh, one of those uh, highly, I don't want to say underrated, because it's a very highly rated game. It's just very underappreciated, I think. Uh, also very hard to get. So um, this is the new one that came out. It was uh, P500. Uh, went through some last-minute printing issues. This was delayed just a little bit and just arrived today, uh, about 12 hours ago. And I have patiently been waiting to open the box to share it with you. So... There we go. So we're going to have three sheets of counters. One uh, 24 by 34 map sheet. One thing that drew me to the map was how beautiful it was made, but also um, how large the hexes are going to be, which is going to be really nice. It's a smaller scale battle than Red Winter, which was a very nice, huge map. Lots of white. This is all snow taking place in Finland uh, and their invasion by the Soviets in the, the early stages of World War II. So, let's shrink off of this guy. See what we got going inside. One thing that uh, I think you, uh, Cha, 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 Charles. Cha, who inspected my product. So the rule book. And let's see, this is about 30, it is 36 pages. Full color. One good thing about uh, that Red Winter had in it. Um, oh yeah, really full color. You can see the, you can see the, uh, I don't even think that's probably going to be accurate. We'll see. You know, call the hexes being a lot larger than that. Um, Red Winter was one of the best games uh, with the playbook um, to guide you through learning the game little by little. So, so you get a bro book, thirty six pages. You've got a reference book uh, full of designers' notes. Wow, this is a nice inclusion. Notes from the map maker, orders of battle and recommended reading 48 pages of designer notes that is pretty freaking awesome that's great pictures wow this is going to be nice to just sit down and read the describes the uh what they were trying to model and why they made decisions they made. Uh, very cool. Very nice inclusion. Got that. Let's see what else we got. Player aid card. Got our CRT. Text in purple is optional rules. So where you see that, all the optional rules, different modifiers. New terrain effects chart. Tactical advantage. So pretty much everything you need for the game. Two copies of this. So if you're actually playing with an opponent, so solo like I'll be doing, each have one. Player aid guard number two. This is just the optional rules. Um, so one copy of this. This may be something they only provide you with one copy of. Got fanatical defense, British disorientation, counter battery fire, command check, weather changes. Pretty darn cool. Single sided on that one. The line of sight determination charts. So this is supposed to be interesting. Flow chart, it'll guide you through. Uh, two units have line of sight to each other. That's pretty interesting. Let's 
so I did already. Campaign game setup chart. So there's the map. You see where the different units are set up. And an identification chart for the various various vehicles. We've got British, German. Pretty cool. All right, quick getting started card. Uh, getting started number one, infantry. It's a tutorial scenario. It's going to guide you through using infantry. Uh, T2 tutorial. Then we're going to add the armor. Getting started number two, armor. Um, fields of fire for armor. This, this Red Runner system is just classic. It's really great. I'm glad to see there's a second game out for it, and apparently more are planned for other theaters, or I guess it's all one theater in Europe, but uh, areas, the British reinforcement card, these costs, listed game turns available apply all, to all scenarios using turn track B. I have no idea what this means because I haven't even read the rules yet. I'm just excited about this one. So you got a British reinforcement card. Obviously, there's going to be a German reinforcement card. <laughs> and here it is, and it is double sided. Sorry, British. You only get one side. Germans, you get double sided. Or double wide, I guess I should say. Awesome. Information track. Single-sided. We've got our turn track, June 16th through 18th. So track your turns. I guess the different scenarios say when things when things happen. Uh, you can see it here. Certain ones are marked turn not used. So even though it goes across from four in the morning to 8:30 at night, uh, there'll be days where those turns are not used. And turn track B is for June 25th through the 27th. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got three counter sheets here. It's sort to of fall off the stack. Awesome. All right, counter sheets. Great, five eighths inch counters. Uh, look very well centered, standard uh, GMT quality, thickness. Nice registration on them. Um, yeah, they look good. Just need a good punch and sorting and corner rounding. Let me see, these are the unit counters. And then we got some status markers here. Great artwork. Lee Wood and Charles Kibler did a great job on these. Uh, the Brimacombe Wood. Uh, they're nice. Very, uh, very bold in their text. Very easy to read. So I was right in the uh, book. It was just the, the hexes were reduced for uh, demonstration purposes. But the map is actually it's got the really large hexes. Compared to a counter, to the counter size. So, I don't know if I can show this whole thing on the camera. Not. It's beautiful, especially like I said, compared to the uh, the red winner. Um, all white snow, frozen lake. Dirt road map, beautiful shades of green. Open areas here for battle roads. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this looks good. Looks really good. And then we got the scenario book. Man, there's another book. Scenario books, 48 pages. Uh, no, 56 pages. Excuse me. The optional rules start on page 48. It goes on for another eight pages. All the different scenarios. 
Purple is obviously the optional rules. This area is. Yeah, this is. This is a beauty. This is gonna be fun. A lot of gameplay in this one. And then finally, we've got the playbook. I'm gonna go over the differences from wide winner, tips and strategies, examples of play. Wow, lots of good color. Good color pictures on this one. I mean, in my opinion, GMT already has the best rule books uh, for the most part that there are. I've never seen anything beat their Combat Commander book for learning the game, being a good reference. Uh, Red Winter was excellent. Uh, Navajo Wars is brilliant. Um, and this one looks like it's going to be be pretty darn good too. So, and then we got bags, which I use usually for other things. And we got dice, two ten sided, and two three six sided. Three, I can't even count. Three ten sided, two black, two red, three six sided, two green, two red, and one red. So, and they roll. And they're the nice rounded ones too. So, great job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gonna have to get some counter clipping done and start playing Operation Dauntless. I know the uh, Vassal module is now available. Um, if that's something you're interested in giving a shot to, but uh, otherwise, that's what you get in the box. Thanks for watching.